Flash Sentry says, specifically for availability groups, what should I look for in a monitoring tool? Most of them just regurgitate a DMV. So for me, I would say you probably don't want to buy a monitoring tool just for AGs. You want to buy a monitoring tool that meets lots of criteria. So what you want to do is make a list of everything that you need to monitor and then try the trials of each different popular monitoring tool. Then when I say try it, I don't just mean install it and click around and go, oh yeah, that's pretty. What you want to do is have a list of failures that you want to test. For example, if AGs are important to you, make a list of common scenarios that have bit you with availability groups. And then after you've installed that tool, go recreate that scenario with availability groups where it failed and see how it surfaces itself in the monitoring tool. That way you'll be able to see exactly what you would have seen during that emergency. So it's really helpful. I have the same uh, advice. For example, some clients are looking for help with deadlocks. And I'm like, great, just set up these different monitoring tools, create a deadlock, and watch to see how the monitoring tools surface it to you. And then that'll tell you whether or not you work with that tool and whether or not that tool works for you.